Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to tell you one very creative way that we can get to know how many slices have been applied for a report and how many options have been chosen. So stay tuned till the end of this video and I'm going to tell you how to do it. So let's get over to my laptop. So suppose I select the country and the cities over there, you can see on my screen that there are two filters have been applied and these are the filters where my, my mouse is over there. So one is city and another is country filter. Now if I want to select the multiple filters over there and then I cannot recognize from my slicer like which are all those options that I have chosen. So let me clear it and choose multiple countries over there. And similarly, let me choose two cities. So once I select these, so you can see on my country and city uh, slicer, I cannot know which I have applied. But in my another one, the creative way here, I can see which all are the options that I have selected from the two slicers. So in this video, we are going to have a look how to create this kind of creative filtering experience now let's go into the another tab where there you can see there's no such scenario or the filters i have created for that what i have to do first of all i have created one measure which is filters applied versus not applied in this one first we need to create one variable which is going to count how many filters or the slices we have applied so since I have applied on the city and the country, so it's going to count of them. And then I'm using if condition. That means if we have selected nothing, it's going to give us zero. And but if we have selected, it's going to give us one. After that, I'm using that variable into my return statement that if my filters count is zero, it's going to display text, no filters applied while if there is some value is coming that is more than zero it's gonna say filters count plus filters applied that means suppose it's gonna come out two it's gonna say two filters applied over there now let's quickly uh, create one uh, very uh, card visual over there and drag this filters applied not uh, not applied measure into this one now we need to do some formatting make sure you do the formatting so that it looks good otherwise it would look weird and guys also make sure that it depends on the person to person where you want to put this card so I'm just putting side by this one because I have a space, but maybe you want to put it just uh, under uh, under the slices that you have applied. Let me clear. And now you can see that it's clearly saying no filters applied because I have selected nothing. Let me select it. Country first, multiple countries. Then it's saying one filter has been applied. Now let me select the cities over there. So since i have selected uh, values from the two slices so it's saying two filters applied now if we want to look what are the values we have applied you can go to the tiny filter icon over there and here it's showing us now you need to make sure for the slices always as a best practice that headers are off unless until we are really gonna need them in our report otherwise it would look weird so make sure from here you put them off and for this one which we have just created we need to make sure it's on so scroll down into this one there are many options over there but we need to focus on two options one more options icon that should be off and the filters icon it should be on always now you can see in the card that it's displaying over there clearly So not only this one, now suppose we want to do some formatting in this card as well that's displaying like its background and all. So you just need to go to the filter pane 
uh, after clicking somewhere in the blank area and you can see that filter pane color can be changed from here also you can make the adjust you can make the settings for the titles or the fonts background border so whatever formatting you want to apply over there you can do it easily now you will see this has been changed over here too so in the filters pane generally you will get two options one is just for the filters pane another is for the card so make sure on the card you apply the right settings according to your view or the object that you are trying to do over there and then it would be very much helpful for you so guys i really hope that this is gonna be a very interesting way to see how many filters we have applied I hope you like today's video. For more videos, stay tuned to our channel. Subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon.